Ping Pong, a game of grace, dedication, and skill. A game of agility, practice, and coordination. But where did this grand game originate from? Today we will look into the history of table tennis, a History Channel special. Most people think the Ping Pong originated in China, but they're wrong and they're stereotypical jerks. Because actually, it originated in England. In 1881, in the Victorian age, there was a bit of play at the dinner table. They were a rancher's bunch. They didn't know what to do. They had so much money. Money here, money there. What could they do other than eat, eat, eat? They wanted to have a little fun. So around the dinner time, Edward Sir Gillihan, the pompous little bastard, had a little bit of a playful idea. He said, Darling Gertrude, would you care to play a game of tennis? Oh, but there's no tennis nearby. Of course, the dashing Edmund said, I have an idea. They devised an ingenious method to play ping pong table right after Aunt Betron left the table because she was such a mess. Drinking and all that sort of thing. So, of course, uh, during dinner one evening, a hot evening, I must add, the tennis connoisseur came by and said, Would you like to have a spot of tennis today? Of course, he has been drinking his little parley poops. It's a special drink back in those days. Uh, no one was really interested in it because of those hot Victorian summer days. So they devised a method right after dinner to uh, put together a little show for the drunken scoundrel that uh, insists on tennis time, similar to tea time in England. So they began to devise a method where they uh, obviously ran out of cigars because that's all they do, smoke, drink, and talk, and eat. They had plenty of cigar boxes, so they figured, wait, let's bat the uh, cork with the uh, cigar box. So they did that. That went on for hours and hours and days and days and months and months until some ingenious method was uh, devised to keep them indoor but not make it look so silly. Most people only play for fun. Only 1% played competitively. It didn't really take shape until the 1930s. In the 1900s, paddles ran into small tennis rackets. With a pear-shaped playing surface. And the pile books were soon formed. Oh. And the real nets hooked onto tables. God. This special was brought to you by... Hey, I'm Dan Marino. Before I had said that I could even hit the ball out of the infield. But now... After two months, three of these puppies every day, I'm hitting home runs on the baseball field and with my boyfriend Toby. Son of Delight, go get yours. I've got mine. Sunny D, 100% vitamin C. It makes you hit home runs. Want an excuse to hurt your best friend? I sure do. Want to have fun at the same time? Yeah. Buy these sizzling cool dodgeballs and you'll have the time of your life while getting revenge. Can I try? Sure. Oh, oh, it actually works. We'll get yours right now. We are now back to the History Channel, where the past comes alive. In 1921, the National Table Tennis Association was founded in England. The International Table Tennis Federation followed in 1920. In the 1950s, the modern day racket was formed. <sighs> Using a rubber shot combined with an underlying sponge layer. <sighs> Jesus. This made the game a lot faster paced. <laughs> In 1998, the Gang of Ping Pong was 
was introduced into the Olympics. The Mafia was really getting a burden with uh, all the money funneled to the Ping Pong Underground Championships. So they, the Mafia devised a way for uh, pretty much to get rid of the Ping Pong freaks. And the only way they could do that was to pay off the Olympic Commission of 1998 and allow Ping Pong to become a, a recognized sport for the Olympics. Why else would you think that Ping Pong would be allowed as a real sport, okay? Uh, soon after the Chinese made that the national sport, some of the best ping pong players in the underground emerged. Uh, it wasn't long after that there was a ping pong craze in, in China. The underground was no longer. It was full on, full speed ahead, look at me, I'm Chinese, I'm ping pong. Yeah, man. I used to be a semi-pro ping pong player back in the 70s. We went pro. Or for those freaking Asians. I mean, they're freaking bred to play ping pong like a freaking robot. Well, anyways. Now I'm a male stripper. Modern day ping pong players in China are up to about 4 million. In the U.S., 4,000. That's pretty much an equal ratio of the population for both sides. From what was an idea sprouted from a curious Victorian has now become the world's most athletic and fun sport. Ping pong. A legacy.